Hello, everyone. This message is going out to Jay Sins. Jay, I've done a lot of studying on you, man. And I do mean a lot. And bear in mind, I do not come at you with hatred. I do not come at you with malice in my heart. But understanding and wanting to reach out to help you. And Jay, you may not realize this, but there's a video that I want you to watch. There's a video that I just posted a few minutes ago that you need to watch. It is imperative that you listen to it and take it seriously. Because if you are unaware... My ancestor is Jonathan Putnam from the Witch Trials. And what a lot of people don't know is that underneath what went on, there's a secret past in which he did not reveal. My ancestor, Jonathan, was indeed a spellcaster, or a wizard, as they would call them. The video I want you to watch is a curse breaker. Because, Jay, you are being controlled manipulatively by your mind, by the Council of Eight. And the reason why I know this is because I've studied your videos. I've watched how you used to act compared to how you are now. And Jay, you are not the same that you used to be. You used to be full of life. You used to be about music. You used to have fun. The Council of Eight is evil, Jay. They are not good. They are not your friends. The Council of Eight, or more commonly known as the Council of Hate, they are not your friends. They are evil and they are satanic. I've done my digging into these guys with several professionals that know what they're talking about, that have studied and have been studying this group of people for a very long time. One of the ways that they manipulate people and that they victimize people is by doing like they did to me. These people are evil, Jay. Like I said, I'm not coming at you with hatred. I'm coming at you with wanting to help you. Because like I said, man, you used to be a good dude. You did. You were full of life. You were happy. You were excited. Now look at you, man. Look at where you're at, Jay. Look at where you're at now. I can see a clear difference in your face, in your demeanor, and it's not good. It is evil. And I'm not saying this to be funny. This isn't a gimmick. No, this is real, dude. You need to stop talking to these people. They are not your friends. They are evil. Every single one of those members of the Council of Eight are evil. Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hall, N-Word Boy, Mass Troll Mafia. Every single person that has aligned themselves with that group is evil. 
And look at you. You used to not represent Nazism. Now look at you. You are literally representing a Nazi banner with the hat that you wear. Because you're being manipulated by your mind, by these people. They want you to believe that I'm a bad guy. They want you to believe that I'm evil. You know why they want you to believe that I'm evil? So they can control you and manipulate you. Stop falling for the smoke and mirrors, Jay. Stop falling for it. What these people are doing is wrong. It's evil. It's disgusting. These people are very bad people. Music Biz Marty, I found out, is the leader of this satanic cult. And Marty, because he has an obsession with me, placed this curse on me to do what's been going on with me. Everything from what I'm dealing with physically up here, with my eczema and all this shit, all the way down to me losing friends and family. And believe me, man, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to listen to me, Jay. I'm coming to you as a friend, trying to help you. Because I saw the person you used to be, man. I saw who you used to be, Jay. You used to be full of life, laughter, having fun. And honestly, that person that you used to be is the person that I would have loved to have known back then. I would have loved to have met you back then. I really would have. But Jay, I'm telling you, man, you need to stop talking to these people. Cut them out of your life. These people are not good people, man. They are evil. Do you know, do you realize what they want to do to me, Jay? They want to kill me. And do you know why they want me dead? Because I'm exposing them for the satanic cult that they are. I am exposing these evil people for what they truly are. Monsters. Satanic evil individuals. Why do you think they name themselves the Council of Eight? Because the number eight is the symbol of death. The number eight is associated with the symbol of death. And who's the person that they want to kill? Me. Why? Because they know that I'm the one that can stop them. I'm the one that can start their downfall. And they want to bring me down. They want to make sure that I do not succeed at that working. Because they know that if they falter, they're done. I'm coming to you as a friend, Jay. I'm not coming to you as somebody who hates you. I can never hate you. I don't hate you, man. I just hate what you've done. I can never hate you, man. Because deep inside that hatred, I see the dude that you used to be, man. I see who you used to be. You and me, we're a lot alike. We really are. The only difference is you fell for their curse and you aligned yourself with them. Me, I didn't fall for their trickery. Why? Because I see through their lies, Jay. These people are evil.
And I'm telling you this, Jay, because despite everything you said to me and about me, despite every video you've made about me, I want to help you because I give a fuck about you as a human being, man. I care about you as a person, as a human being. I see the person you used to be. And that person that you used to be, that's the guy that I want to get to know. That's the guy that I would enjoy being friends with. You need to stop believing their lies about me, Jay. Because everything they are saying is false. Okay? Every single legal person that has been to my house has said the same thing. That I am being targeted. By a satanic cult. And the only reason why they can't do anything. Is because these people are hiding. In different states. And under various means. Of protection. Whether that's. VPNs. Fake names. All that stuff. I'm telling you this Jay. Because I give a shit. About what happens to you. Because you're just like me. We are the same. You used to be a good dude. You used to be full of life, just like I was. And now look at you. Energy always being zapped, always making videos about me, never focusing on what you really want to do. We're the same, dude. Me and you are the exact same. And I want you to think about this, Jay. Why do you think that every single person that makes a video defending me, don't you find it very weird that those people are forced to take down those videos? Why is that? Have you ever stopped to ask that, Jay? Why these people take down these videos? Have you ever thought about that? You want to know why they take down their videos? Because these people get attacked by the very people like Kate and Marty and N-Word Boy. The same ones that attack me. They don't want to see me do good. They don't want to see me succeed. They want to sacrifice me and kill me. Because like I said, Jay, this whole thing spans farther back than you can imagine, my friend. This really does. This spans a lot further back than what you or anyone can comprehend. These people want to kill me. They want to see me dead. Because these people know my family history. What up, Gengara? How you doing, bro? But, yo, Gengara. Let me ask you something, bud. Don't you find it weird, man? That anybody that makes a video on me? Defending me? Takes, is forced to take down their video the next day because they are being threatened. Don't you find that very strange? Why is it that there's no videos up of people defending me? You want to know why, Jay Sins? You want to know why, man? Because these people are forced to take those videos down by this evil satanic cult that is targeting people like myself to destroy and people like you to recruit. And Jay, you say you hate me. But I'm telling you right now that you are under a very, very, very evil curse. And I know it might sound crazy, but man, listen, you have to fucking believe me on this. 
Take a look at how you are now compared to what you used to be. Take a look at how you are now compared to what you used to be, man. You used to be about the music. You used to be about doing good. You used to be about putting good into this world, just like I am. You used to be about that life, my friend. Don't you find it weird that you're no longer about that? Now you're all about doing what they want. You're all about attacking. Which is why I made that video for you. Because I want to help free you from what they've got a hold of you on with. The only reason why their shit didn't work on me it's because I'm too good for that. The reason why their curse didn't work on me the way that it did on you. Is because of the fact they want to see me dead. They did not want to place that curse on me. They did that to you by manipulating your mind. So, Jay, I'm telling you right now, man, I am urging you. Even though you might think you hate me, I know deep down that you don't. That's why I am urging you to listen to that video that I made for you, that I posted a few minutes ago. Because I want to see you making music again. I want to see you doing good for yourself. Because despite whether you hate me or not, I don't hate you. I can never hate another human being. I can never hate another human being. Why? Because I wasn't built like that. I wasn't built with hate in my heart. Because hate is not... You're not born with hate. You are taught hate. You are taught to hate. And me, I was taught to care about people, not to hate them. And so were you. So, Jay, do yourself a favor and please take this seriously. This is no joke. This is dead Fucking ass serious shit. You need to separate yourself from these people. These people are pure fucking maniacal evil. And I don't want to see you end up the same way that I almost ended up. Because despite whether you hate me or not, I don't care. I still give a shit about you. I still care about you as a human, Jay. Like me, you're a human being. You are not evil. So, Jay, please listen to me. I need you to take that video that I sent you, or that I made and posted for you to watch. I need you to take that very seriously. And really sit down and ponder on it. And think about what I just said. And I mean, really think about what I said in this video. Truly think about what I said. Because these people are evil. And they're constantly recruiting people at a rapid rate. These people are evil, Jay. They are very, very, very evil. And what these people are doing is not normal, man. It is not normal what they are doing. It is pure 
satanic, disgusting, vile, and evil. So please, Jay. Or satanic, disgusting, vile, and evil. So please, Jay. If there's any shred of good left in that heart of yours, pull that shit out of you and listen to the words that I'm saying in this video. I do hope to hear back from you. And I do hope that you take what I am saying very seriously. I hope that you ponder on what I've told you. And I hope that you truly think about what I'm telling you. These people have got you under a curse that they've put on you by manipulating your mind and making you think a certain way. That's not you. You're a musician. You're a music artist. Just like me, you have the power to put a stop to this shit. You have a power to break yourself free and be that person that you used to be. And I highly suggest you do it, man. I really do. I highly suggest that you do that. Because if you can break free from that, we could team up. We could actually team up and bring these guys down. We could literally team up and expose these guys for what they're doing. Do you not realize that, Jay? If you got away from these guys... And you went back to your old ways. You could do some real good in this world, Jay. Through your music. And through your videos. You could do some real good in this world. So please, Jay. I urge you. With every fiber of my very being, I urge you. To go watch that video and take it serious. Jay Sins is a very good guy. That's been manipulated by the guys known as the Council of Eight. Who are a satanic cult. That want to kill and murder and commit chaos. And do evil things in this world. And Jay used to be a good guy. He used to do music. He used to be like me. This man used to be full of life. And if you study his videos, and I do mean if you not study his videos, go back and watch how he used to be. This man used to be so full of life. So full of happiness, about music, always wanting to help people. And then once the Council of Eight got a hold of him, all of that changed. Now instead of making music, he makes videos about me attacking me every day. And Jay, I want to free you from that, my friend. I want to help free you from what's going on. I know it might sound stupid. And I know to a lot of people this might sound crazy. But if you really dig into these people. And really dig into Jay's videos and see how he used to be as a person. You'll see that I'm right in everything that I'm saying. And Jay, I know you might hate me now. But trust me when I say. Once you, once you truly sit down and you open your mind and you listen to that spell, that curse breaker that I left for you to listen to, I promise you it will help you, my friend. I promise you that. So please, Jay, do yourself this one favor. 
open up your mind. Forget about what I've done wrong or anything like that. Sit down, open up your mind, and listen to that curse breaker. And let it fuel you. Let it consume you. And I promise you, within a day, a week, a month, you will start to feel better. I promise you that. So, Jay, do yourself this favor and take what I'm saying serious, my friend. Because even though you may hate me, even though you may hate me, Jay, you might hate me now. But I can promise you this, Jay, that I do not, I do not hate you, and I never could hate you. Because even though you don't see me as a friend, you don't see me as a human being, I see you as a human being and as a friend. So, Jay, I hope to see you when you're back to normal. Good luck, my friend. And may God be with you. Good luck.